Okay, welcome to another Graphics 2 tutorial. And today, um, I just want to do some introduction to really simple animation. So we'll start uh, with the animation side, by clicking that when it starts. And I think I'll just do like a simple uh, figure, just to kind of show animation. Okay, let's make a simple figure. This is gonna, this is going to um, pretty much set the standard for uh, graphics and animation. I think for probably this entire year, at least, if um, if not for a few years, um, I, I actually anticipate maybe possibly putting Pixar out of business with this. So we'll go ahead and we'll we will draw our figure highly uh, detailed. It's very important to have a good amount of attention to detail. Um, you'll see that as we progress. Okay, so down here are the animation thing, are the animation controls, and we've, well, you haven't. I've drawn this to the uh, to the first animation frame. You can see the frame number here, um, and then we're going to add another frame, and this will actually copy what we had on the previous one over. So now we're going to uh, basically make him kick his leg a little bit and clap. So I'm going to go to my brush and I'm going to. Uh, make it big by pressing the dot key just so I can erase this. I'm going to right click here. The, get, grab our transparent color member. Uh, you Actually, before I do that, I'm going to grab this with a brush so we can rotate it. Let me make sure I'm on frame two. Yeah. Um, this is where you can use this lasso brush. And I'm going to grab it to there and right click and I'll stamp it down there. We could use the spare page for this, but um, for now, I think I'll just put it here and manipulate it on the frame itself. Now I'm going to go back to the brush, and I am going to, or the uh, the default brush, hit delete, and then hit uh, period to make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm just going to start uh, erasing over this. Remember, I have the uh, the transparent color. Now I'm going to grab this part again, and we'll rotate this by grabbing it with the brush, hitting the B key. And I'm going to put this in the corner here because I want to uh, rotate with that corner. I'm going to come down here and now I'll hit the W key to begin rotating that freely. Oh, I guess it does. I guess it does grab it to the uh, to the center no matter what you do, but that's okay. And then I'll right click when I'm done. This is going to be a beautiful, beautiful hand woven animation. And uh, of course, we'll need to clean this up a little bit. Uh, also, I said I'd make him clap, so. We want to uh, make him clap again. I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to grow the brush. You can see it growing in the corner there. And I'm going to. Hmm, how should I do this? Maybe I should do this the same way. I've got a special surprise on how I'm going to do this. You're going to be just amazed. Uh, we're going to hit the W key because I want to rotate this. And we're going to make it so the hands come together. And I'll right click. Um, actually, I think, yeah, we'll do it that way. I'm going to hit delete to go back to my uh, normal brush. I'll grow it again so I can erase with it using a transparent color. He's actually going to be clapping behind his head today. Um, also, let's uh, let's use the uh, Bezier curve tool. Oops. First of all, I need to undo that with a U key. Uh, I need to, I'm going to grab this white color. I'm not sure where it is in the palette, so I'll just grab it. And I'm going to use the Bezier curve again. Um, hit delete key to go back because his arms are single pixel. I'm going to put one there and since he's clapping around his head, look at that. See, he's clapping his hands and he'll be kicking his feet. So let's uh, see how it looks. There it is. He's kicking and clapping his hands. Oh, we got to get rid of this foot though. So I'm just going to use the um, the square to square tool. I'm going to set the transparent color and go right over the top of it. Okay, so there's uh, some star quality animation. Let's set the uh, the speed for the frames, and we can click the timer to get to that. You can see we can set the speed per frame, or we can do it for all frames. I think a good amount of milliseconds will be um, 500. And then when we save this. I'm going to go to my desktop here so we have a place to put it. Uh, 
I think his name is Bob the Gnome. Okay, and make sure you're in GIF so it'll animate it. We'll save that. And I have to minimize this window so you can bring it so uh, you can see it, but I'll I'll bring it right back up here. I don't know if you can see my uh, my desktop or not. So I'm going to uh, bring back graphics too, and then I'll bring in the animation hopefully on top. Hopefully you can see that. But look at that beautiful, beautiful art artisanal animation there. Um, so you should see my name basically, I think. Uh, well, I, I guess I won't be putting Pixar out of business because I think they're owned by Disney now. So uh, we should see that company just completely folding within the future uh, with this style of animation, completely revolutionizing everything. So, all right, thank you for your time. Uh, keep doing art and enjoy doing some basic animation now.